Hello everyone, welcome back to the Misty Channel. I'm here with some more missing women shooting in mean cases. So let's begin. These are about some kids. Alicia Marie Fox, Queen Seven, husband, mother's wife. Search for their kids. Continue. The real mother, she said she would be speaking. Okay. We have the kids look. We already arrested the man. He is the Charlotte Strangler. Tomorrow I'm doing an article on him. So let's begin. In May 2014, Alicia Marie Fox sent her two young children, six years old, Kayla Hunter, and eight-month-old son, Christian Justice, disappeared from Decor, Michigan. Alicia had recently left her husband of four months, Erin Maurice Justice, and moved out of their homes with out of their home with the children before her family suddenly couldn't contact her. Justice has a long history of violence against women and has a police record riddled with arrests, including drugs and weapons related charges. This is the mother, okay? Or this the who they say is the mother. On June the 3rd, nearly two weeks, okay, you know, like I told you, you they get crap kids. The women gotta play like the kids' mamas, okay? But they all crap kids, okay? On June the 3rd, nearly two weeks after anyone had seen or heard from Alicia Marie Fox, Kayla's father received a text message from Alicia's phone number. However, he wasn't sure if Alicia actually sent it. Three days later, the 27-year-old mother's loved ones officially reported her and the children missing when none of them showed up for Kayla's kindergarten graduation. I'm hearing that, Kate. I'm hearing that Alicia, go okay, right here, with a teacher, okay, like in the school, okay? Investigators didn't believe that Alicia sent the mysterious text messages. True. Less than a week later, Alicia's badly decomposed body was found in the basement of a abandoned home in the Fort's west side. True. Coincidentally, Alicia's body was found just three houses away from Justice Cousin's home. She was wrapped in a blanket and disposed of. An autopsy revealed that Alicia had been murdered and shot twice in the head. There were no signs of the children. These are the children again. Okay. Justice was arrested in Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia and charged with first degree murder. I'm here in Ray Village. An investigation revealed that after reportedly killing Alicia, Justice sold her Chariot and Paula to a junkyard in Taylor, Michigan. The real mother saying yes. Invest she been looking for her car. Investigators attempted to crack down, crack, crack down the vehicle to inspect it for evidence, but it had already been stripped by the time it was located. Justice also went in a U-Haul after Alicia's murder, and even though he never left the D4 area, he managed to clock 300 miles on the off meter. He then bought a plane ticket and flew to Atlanta. I'm hearing crew. A home covered in evidence and a missing dog. Who? When police searched Justice's home, they found traces of blood on the ceiling of the upstairs bedroom and a bullet hole lodged inside one of the walls. Further, Alicia Marie Fox had a beloved white pig bulldog who was said to be very protective of Kayla and Christian. I'm hearing they killed the, pig, they killed the dog, yes. It was found wandering the streets of Detroit on June 19, just eight days after Justice was arrested. I mean, somebody, somebody is in the, in the pig bull, okay? They stuffed him stuff somebody in the pit bull to be the baby okay or the babies or something the southwest animal group was called to pick up the abandoned pig he had visible injuries associated with abuse including cigarette bones on his face and chest and strangulation marks around his neck Ooh. it's believed that justice sold the dog to a dog fighter or un unauthorized breeder fortunately the dog was treated and placed in a foster home and accomplished his name on the case it was also revealed that one of Justice's friends since childhood, Timothy Bernard Jones, helped him in hiding and decomposing, deposing of Alicia's body following her death. So they still could have body parts of her around, okay? He admitted to police that when he went to Justice's home, the body was tucked away in a crawl space. He said he helped Justice move the body to the location where they were eventually found. According to Jones, the children were still alive at that time. Jones was charged with evidence tampering, concealing a death, and being an accessory to murder. True. For his role, Jones was sentenced to two to five years in prison. Justice agreed to deal and plead deal ple agreed to a deal and pleaded guilty to second degree murder. You got the tape of 
to him going to the eight court, okay? Among other charges. That means he can't be killing until that time, okay? He was sentenced to 45 to 80 years in prison. Yes. Kayla and Christian had never been located. We are still following up on every tip and lead that are coming in, said Officer Jennifer Marino, a Decor Police Department spokeswoman. It's still an open and active case. This is the dude. We have a big family, a really big family, and to have a big family, to have a chunk of your family missing, that means a lot, Survey Fox, Alicia's mother told reporters. Aaron Justice was sentenced to 80 years plus, and he hardly said a word. He's just a hush mouth. He won't say anything. Alicia's family believes Justice placed the children with a friend or family member out of state. Justice hasn't been charged in their disappearance. They are considered to be gravely endangered missing children and possibly somewhere in the Atlanta area. Who? Kayla and Christian, what to know? Kayla was 4 feet 5 inches tall and 65 pounds at the time of her disappearance. Okay, yes ma'am. Kayla, Christian was 2 feet tall. She has brown hair and brown eyes. When he was last seen, Christian was two feet tall and 17 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. At the time of this publication, Kayla would be 10 years old and Christian would be 5 years old. Anyone with information regarding the location of these two children is urged to contact the Decor Police Department. They will answer at 313-596-5600. Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP or their local authorities. Please share this story about the brutal murder of Alicia Marie Fox and the kidnapping of her children. I'm hearing um, when she was like in the, in the classroom with the kids, they broke in, they how they did it. Like, you know, you know how they be um, having them lockdowns in schools? It like that, okay, a broker look came in and got them, okay? That would happen to me before. I, ha I had an incident like that as well. And a couple other women too. Um... Or their local authorities. Please share this about the brutal murder of Alicia Marie Fox in a real classroom and the kidnapping of her children, Kayla Hunter, and Christian Justice. She is our sister. Her life and her children's lives matter. Okay? The sources is from USA Today, CBS News, Fox 2 D4, and People. If y'all like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do for the fame or the money. I do because what I love to do and to the real families of this victim, corporate America will set y'all up, okay? Thank you.